Harvesters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here, Tiger Technicians. Now we're looking at the Dow Down 5 at 34,458 after that spill from 35,679, the, the August 1st high. Uh, we've come right down to uh, what's the low uh, yesterday? Oh, I didn't type that in. I thought I had. So I think it was 34,248. Let me just check. 34. Uh, the low, that is. Yeah, 34,248. And um, so it's attempting to rally. There should be some kind of residual strength to the upside. I'm looking at kind of an arch formation possibly forming. Uh, most importantly, look at this weekly chart here. The weekly chart is, let me squeeze it a little bit so you can see it. Oops, wrong chart. Let's squeeze this one a little bit more. There it is. So this one shows you that is basically the prices so far be walking. The black 14 period moving average has been the springboard for the nine. And now it's back to the 14 period moving average is just sitting there quietly. I have to tell you that in my webinar tomorrow night at four o'clock for subscribers and you can become a subscriber, check out the front page of TFNN. I, I always forget to do this. I should do it because it's uh, it's important to be able to tell people what's available. Yeah, TFNN. Um, there we go. So opening call subscriber webinar. There it is. Uh, Wednesday, August the 23rd, 4 o'clock to 5.30 p.m. It will be archived if you can't make it. I know a lot of people, it just, it's a difficult time. But anyway, it'll be live. The reason why I also wanted to keep it live <clears throat> is I'm, especially with NVIDIA coming out with earnings, I wanted it to be live because I want you to also, because I'm showing patterns that work in any time frame, at any point, um, they're active. They are the cells, the core, the, the, uh, the fractal of human nature, just represented in a fixed point of time, which moves obviously every, every tick. But at the same time, these patterns just repeat over. Look at this beautiful arch formation on the left. Look at that beautiful plumb line right at the top. Look at this um, flat stochastic over 80% in the 90% area, giving you no clue that there could be a turnaround. Look at the MACD doing well, and yet there was one indicator for me, together with a couple of other shorter-term ones that said, hey, this, this is the day that you're going to have an opportunity to go short because if you don't get it here with that nine period moving average, the green line, let me just show you here, the nine period moving average so strong, this is where we're talking about right there, um, it's going to take a while for it to turn down. You can see what happens each time. And once before, the last one, it turned down, looked like it was going to go green from green to pink, and it never did. And if you look at the QQQ, talk about pink, it was pink for one for one or two days back in May, uh, April the 26th and 7th. Um, and that was it from the time that it went to a buy signal on the 16th of March. It hasn't yet to this moment that we're talking about. This is uh, August the 1st. It hasn't gone pink except for two days, one day. You could have just sat there and said, I'll give it one day's rest. And the next day, it's back to green. And now you're seeing something very different. Now you've changed course. This pink line is negative, and it can stay negative for a while. So just want to show you what we're looking at here. Uh, let's go back to our story. And our story is <clears throat> that within the context of um, arch formation, look at this plumb line. From that gap, I chose to, to put the plumb line there and see if there's a measured move from the left side number of bars to the right side. I call it bar symmetry or left side, right side price time match. Too many words, bar symmetry is even better. Uh, it kind of explains that you're going from one point down, then back to that point in the same number of bars, or from one point up to another, to, back to the starting point in the same number of bars. And there it is. It, it was a day early yesterday, and it went to that... Uh, uh, 34, 
248 level. Um, so that's it. And here's another technique. Chaffin wave inside wedge target repellent, uh, sorry, support line. Pink dash on the way down. And look at how, how it held, 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 and then boop, got pierced. And today it held, sorry, yesterday it held great. And today it's trying to rally off that level. It's struggling. And the reason is, the reason why I don't want to be thinking just yet of going uh, uh, back into adding in, into a longer term down position, we still have the call from the October low plus the March low of 2020. Uh, the reason why we only having quick trades with tiny percentage loss if we're wrong is that this arch formation should become like right there. It should just become a bounce. And then fail, and then we start to see if it takes out the left side low in another dreaded H pattern. He has one dreaded H, he has another dreaded H. What's the dreaded H? I'll be talking about all these patterns. They repeat over and over and over again. Here's the dreaded H. Straight line down, straight line down, arches over, goes to a peak, A or a B, fails and takes out the left side low. You can go a lot lower. Straight down, makes an arch to an A. I just looked too busy, so I took it out. A takes out the left side low. That was good. It says, oh, you could bounce, and you bounce, and you went above the previous high, and then you made another H pattern with a lower low, and that just kept plummeting. And now we haven't even had the opportunity to see a leg, gray leg A in the last two sessions. The day's young. It could happen. So these are patterns we're going to be looking at all the time. Let's go on uh, with the analysis. We've got the S&P. The S&P did exactly the same thing. In this case, I didn't use the plumb line of the high because it looked to me when I was over here that it could get there in a shorter uh, space of time. So I used a particular candle uh, to go to the left side low of 43.28.82. That was the low. Oops, that was the close. 43.28.08 was the low of the 24th of June. It goes all the way to 4507.07. A .07. couple of doji candles there. It turns down, gaps down. And then uh, three days ago, it goes to 43, 33, 50, 31. A higher low. It says, you know what? You can bounce now to a, either a, a gap or a doji candle icon on the left side on the higher level or a nine period moving average or a 14 period or a peak. Anyway. 44.22 will be the challenge to get to the pink nine period moving average. I think it's still going to try for that. There's been so much selling pressure. There's a little bit of residual strength, and I think, and look at the weekly chart. The nine is still way over the 14, just like the Dow is. I have nothing yet in the weekly charts. Look at the uh, QQQ. Um, this, is, this is a little different because it's been testing the 14 period moving average and it made a high much earlier. It made a high back around the 27th of July or so, a 387.98. There's your cup formation and fails, makes the dreaded H pattern, takes it out, makes another one, and another one, and another one. And now this should be a bigger rally. It's trying to get past the pink nine period moving average than the 14. Look, the MACD is still very weak. Stochastic uh, is still only at 17%. On balance volume did give a nice little V-shaped turnaround. I don't know if that's a recovery or not, but it, it, it is a nice sign. IWM was at 2000. Uh, it didn't get to the left side low. It did hit the pink line. Can't wait inside bridge. Target support line. Now just as we go to the break, let's look at the SMHs. The SMHs are up. Five cents at 151. I'll be back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. 
for daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities. Subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Let me just show you this as it's happening. As I say, tomorrow in my web conference, if I can, I'm going to be something that's live. It doesn't matter that it's just that they're, they're doing on anything that'll be moving live. So in the meantime, I just wanted to show you, this is the one minute E-mini, <clears throat> S&P E-mini, if I can just expand that. So a question always comes in, in my wave count, where do you start the count? Well, this is a leg down. This is a leg, forget what it is, doesn't matter. This is a leg E to the downside. You can't start the wave count until on the right side of that bar, you've made a higher low. Because after all, this could keep going down. It's not a trough until it makes that little V-shaped pattern with a higher low. So that means this cannot be a leg A here. That is wrong. You cannot. The low bar cannot be the high bar except when you get to a peak D. That's where you get the instant restart in the Chapman Wave methodology. Remember, all of this I found out trial and error for most of you would never even dream to even think of, you know, to find out what the mistakes are and how much how much it costs you to find these things out. All these techniques that we discussed, it, you know, it's the school of hard knocks. Then you go to the graduate school of hard knocks. Then you go to the postgraduate school of hard knocks, and it never ends because the market is the market. You are not the market. You are just trying your best to to get, get through the Straits of Gibraltar without hitting the rocks. So this is what we're looking at. That becomes a peak A, that becomes a peak B. That becomes a C1, and because it's not by one quarter of a point, it goes in quarter points, it hasn't made leg D, um, I give it a C1, C2, which has the same effect as a D, except when the 9 pre moving average is so strong, you can expect that that C1, C2 might still go to a D. What I said in the den, based on the five-minute chart, is that it had gone under the 200-period exponential from this peak G double top. Uh, the pink, uh, the green nine-period moving average has turned pink. It's still pink. And so far, this trough E uh, went and tested. It's testing right now the 4418 200-period moving average of the five-minute chart. Remember, each one's going to have a different 
200 period moving average number. The, the number on the 10 minute chart is 4410. This is um, eight, eight points higher. So I said 4420 to 4423 is going to be the difficult. That's that's the area that the S&P has to break out of. And if it does that, I think it's free for a little while to start moving to the upside. Uh, that's the way I'm looking at it. And as we're talking, it's attempting to do it. All right. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. Maybe if I can do something as exciting as this after the bell. Question came in. I'm going to go to right to the questions. I haven't finished all the charts or anything. TFC, could I please look at it? Trust Financial Core TFC is a symbol 2837 down 24 cents. So this went to a peak. Now, this is, this is interesting. Um, I always go back to the lowest, most obvious low. So I'm not going to start my count here. I have to start it here, even if there was a D. After D, you can start a brand new count. So that's your uh, low that was uh, registered in early in May in the 25s. It goes peak A. Then it goes peak B. Ah, it gives you peak C, and it gives you a peak D, and it gives you a sell signal from a buy signal to a buy mode to a sell signal and sell mode. And then what does it do? You get a fabulous turn in the stochastic down the uh, single digits. The MACD is holding well. The on-balance volume is holding well. The pink turns to green, and you've got yourself an up arrow here, maybe an up arrow. I'm going to put it in. Maybe I'm wrong. And it goes back to A, B. Let's see what that is. Each successively higher peak gets alphabetized sequentially and here you go uh, 30.99 30 30.99 30 oh, 30 was that 29 30.99 goes to a high of 30.98 ha huh, isn't it? you see that's the reason why I checked it out I've done this so many times that I know when it's a possibility to miss a peak. That's your only obligation, the Chapman Wave, is to get each successively high peak. Then we go to a peak E, not a D. A buy signal gets upgraded to a buy mode, meaning that it should go to at least a D, four higher peaks. But it can go higher. But at D, as you can see, at D, other things happen. Hey, is it time to sing my song? Maybe tomorrow I'll sing my song. Chapman Wave, buy at the, buy at the, buy at the low and sell at the high. There we go. Um, and here's your cup formation. And this is, oh, this is another example. I had one earlier today. I'm going to use this one. This is the Chapman Wave cup and ladle pattern. Why is it a cup and ladle? Because you broke for, uh, from the previous high of peak D. You had a sharp pullback, started a new a cup formation. And that cup formation said, if it takes out that left side high in leg C, Expect that it could still go to a D and then pull back, and it must hold that support on the left side, that peak D, as a base. Look at this. There's your left side, right side, price time, price time symmetry, bar symmetry, right there. And it broke it in leg C, and what does it do? It goes to a D, pulls back, tests the break, and it suddenly pops it to an E, and now it's pulled back. Now, I could do the same thing. I don't want to take time right now because this is the Eiffel Tower. Straight up, straight down. And you've got yourself a sell mode. And now the question is, I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know if you are in this at all, but I'm going to tell you right now that the financials un are under duress. And that's the reason why I'm quite prepared to hold the short positions that we have in the in the down and the SMHs. We missed that one. I was impatient with the um, Toll Brothers, it was perfect, and then it plunged without us in it. Uh, we had it, and it just got stopped out. Anyway, so um, this is, I don't like this pattern at all. And it seems to me that this left side low, at some point in the month of September, there's a chance that 2556 is going to be tested. I would hope, and hope is as, as, Larry likes to say, hope should not be part of your vernacular when you're talking about the stock market. Well, that's, you know, all of us hope for things. You, you do it and you hope that it's going to work. But hope can't be your plan. The plan is that you've got your position and you hope it works because you've done your homework. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, um, this is now going to a leg. Is that at one penny below? It is. Let me just check. Uh, 30.96, 30. 30. 95. What am I doing? Wrong. One. Oh, 30.95. And 30.93, that's what I thought. Okay, so that's an E. 
That's a tough F. No, I'd be real careful. And not only that, I would say to you that if if you are long, but you're still in the money, um, I take a little bit off in any case. Just because why? Because if this does rally, it's going to take a while for it to really bull steam to the upside. You'll have plenty of time to get to add to your position or to get in. I would. I'd be rather looking at this as a potential, not a short. At $28, I wouldn't treat this as a short right now. Too much has been done to the downside. It was in the 35s. So be careful. That's all I'm going to say. It's in the same area with Bank of America. We've had every year for the last seven years or so. This is the past six or eight months. Haven't touched it. I just don't like it. And Bank of America, to me, is kind of a benchmark because it has a trading on. It has a trading Yeah, look at that price. It went to the 200 p.m. moving average and it's just plunged from there. This is this is tough stuff, and that's the reason why I think we're going to have a little longer of a consolidation. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, right, let me do this uh, quickly here. This is uh, Stan, a small Stan Inc. S&P, simple trading at 2.02 .02, up 2 cents. 
Yeah, this is really nice. Integrated sand company, and they do the logistics. It did make a peak F in the five area, just under five. Then it plunged down to the 140s, and now it's at one at 202. Um, this is a new A, B, C1, C2. It's acting really well. If you want to strategize and keep this, look, the stochastic is nearly at 80% in the weekly chart. It's at 76, 79 in the daily. Um, this is acting really well. Obviously, if in this environment, this is actually gapping up and holding the gaps. Yes, I think, but it's a, a very low price stock for those of you who are, have trouble with the low price stocks. You got, you mustn't touch this one because um, it's. It, it looks to me like it, the 184 200 period exponential moving average is going to be proved as a as a bounce point for a little while to come still. So I think you'll have time to get into this, give it a little, it's had a great move, it needs a little bit of a consolidation, but I can see that it wants to go a little higher, but most importantly, what you really want to be looking for is the 192 level, uh, make it 192 to 184, which is the 200 period moving average, so the 40 and 200 period moving averages are key support levels. I'd, I'd be real careful, uh, just in terms of, getting into a low price stock that's had a spectacular move in a very short period of time. It's in the area that seems to be having some some veracity. I mean, in the sand, anything to do with the, the paving, anything to do with uh, infrastructure. And if I don't know about you, but everywhere you go around here, you can't you can't make any appointment for a particular time because the uh, amount of work that's being done is is quite amazing. And I, I'm not complaining. Believe me, I like that because I want the roads to be as best as they can. Um, so in the meantime, back at the ranch, this is in play. And if anyone's looking at it and say, hey, this looks really interesting, you could nibble and keep it in your chest box. Just, you know, put it, put it, put it away and just keep it and look at it and maybe in two months' time and say, oh, really? Instead of being at 160, maybe it's at uh, 260 or, or 310. Because it has that capability of making higher highs and higher lows in the daily. The weekly is improving, um, and that's also a very good sign. Okay, I did that. Now, the other question I had was, oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Uh, could I look at... Hmm. Oh, NVIDIA. So the question came in. Um, Hi, Basil. Do you see the upcoming NVIDIA as a sell the news opportunity? And I was going to say the answer is absolutely yes. But the person who asked me has done very well by not doing anything, uh, as far as I know, by not doing anything like the short side, being very careful, being uh, mostly on the long side, kind of being cautious, but very well thought out. And what I, I said is, it's just... I, I'm with you. In fact, this rally up to the high today of 4187, I was kind of busy at the time doing other things, uh, Yeah, and the, you know, just notating, getting my we my webinar off for tomorrow, just getting a whole bunch of new charts that I wanted in it. Um, and I was hoping that it would have held into this, that word hope. And this is a very legitimate hope. I wanted to see NVIDIA hold today, have a bit of a move up tomorrow, and we were going to add to our short position. One of the short positions, we had great gains, but I had a stop on that extra position, and it got stopped out for a very nice gain and went much lower this morning. Uh, that's on the SOXS. That's three times a short uh, semi. And I wanted to get back into that by tomorrow. Why? Because when I look at these charts, now this is a really tough thing for me. 401 was the low back in June before it made this. This is, I, I forgot to put this in. This was a perfect Chapman Wave cup and ladle formation. A to B and C spirals up, goes to peak C1, C2, which is the equivalent of a D, pulls back. And what does it do? Not only does it test the breakout line, it takes out the 401. No, sorry, it holds the 401 low. That means this leg B that I've drawn in here is not a B. It is now the un. It was the incomplete C1, C2. Now it's done the D. I'm quite satisfied to say that there's a really good chance 
that NVIDIA actually disappoints. Now, I could be, I, we don't have a position in NVIDIA. We have it in the SMHs. We are still short from just, just about a point from the top. Um, and that's going to stay that way. But at the same time, everything about this, and there it is. You got your week. I've been waiting. I Yesterday, I drew this in. I said, this is the, we'll talk about this tomorrow. We'll have to talk about this tomorrow. Remember the pattern I was talking about that I discovered years ago? I call it the Chapman Wave Falling Axe Formation. Leads to a Chapman Wave 1 to 1 parallel extension cup formation. What does it do? You go to a, a D, E, or F at the top. You start to make lower low, lower highs and much lower lows. And all of a sudden, it, it always surprises me. It just kind of forms a base. And then it rallies and takes out the cone, the declining cone, up a trend line. And that says you can get something like a one-to-one -one extension to the upside, which means in the same number of bars or the same angle, the degree of angle, it goes to the upside. Sometimes it is a one-to-one. -one. It isn't always. Sometimes it's more than that. But it tells you you're breaking out and you're probably going to test all the peaks on the left side. Well, it pe tested that one and tests is the 480 point. 88 high at peak C1, C2 in the Chapman wave. And we'll be talking about this tomorrow and explaining it in great detail. So what you've got is the cup formation. So now this goes into a cup formation right here. There it is, right? It's a lopsided cup, it's what I call a gravy cup. And it's broken out to the right side like this. Whoa, wrong one. Breaks out to the right side like that. Right, gravy cup, lopsided. Mm -mm. But you remember what I was talking about yesterday? The falling axe formation is in the daily and it's in the weekly. And I'm anticipating that there's going to be a break of that line. Well, now we've got to D. So Chapman Wave methodology says a buy signal to a buy mode should go to a peak D, the fourth highest peak. That's, oh, I'll have to sing the song. So the song goes like this. The market, this is my song. The market goes up. The market goes down, supposed to buy at the low and sell at the high. Snap, snap. And you know what we tend to do? We buy at the high and we sell at the low. Chap moon wave is what you need. You buy with the stoke, that's a stochastic. And the old MACD, that's the MACD. Follow the price and wait for a peak. Higher highs is what you seek. The wave goes to A. Whoops, where is it? The wave goes to A and then to B. There we go. The wave goes to A and then to B. Even the anticipated C and D. That's when it flashes a cautionary light. But all you got to do is, uh, what was it? All you got to do is make your stops real tight. Suddenly it goes to E and F. A bell rings so loud it can make you deaf. So what you gonna do? Which way to go? You sell at the high. We do the Dow, I N D U. You sell at the high peak F, and you buy at the low. All right, great coming up. Dow's at 110. We'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So, uh, as, I, as I said, a peak F top right there, with all the ingredients that I looked for, and then it came down. There's your dreaded H1, dreaded H2. We haven't even had a third one yet. Uh, so, I, I followed this nine period moving average, and it tells you that the, there should be more selling to come, even if there's a really strong bounce. I don't see the ingredients for a big rally just yet. So, in other words, to the answer with the NV, NVDA, um, if I had said yes right here to short, or I don't know if you would have shorted how you would have played it, in NVIDIA, that would have been great because now you have a huge cushion, but it means that you'd have to be watching it all night. What if, let's just imagine, so tomorrow there's a little bit of a bounce in NVIDIA instead of being down from the high of 481 down to 461, 20 points off the high, it, it closes today maybe... Um, 467.35 right and then tomorrow it has a little bit of a bounce in anticipation of the news but nothing as big as it just had and in fact towards the end of the session it's down a little bit uh, and then out of the they come out with this uh news whatever and to me i i'm looking at this and i'm saying i think that there's something going on here i believe a lot of people are starting to say to themselves you know there are so many things going on in the electricity field. I'm not sure if I really want a battery-driven car right now, or if I do, um, I'm going to go very slowly into it. I don't want to overpay for it because whatever I overpay, I'm not saving anything in the money. I might be doing something for the environment. I, I don't believe that either because I think the energy aspect in the environment is going to have a huge consequence. And if you think that the the grid is going to be able to hold. I mean, in New York, are they banning? They want only electrical. They're banning gas. Uh, and we've got a gas uh, stove. Uh, it's done the job. It's great. And it's inexpensive. It's just, um, I mean, really. Um, so all I'm saying to you is that I think there's going to be a, a glut of chips in this particular format right now, as in this phase that we're in. And I don't know if NVIDIA is going to be able to talk about the looking out as as they ebulliently as they did before. The expectation might be a little bit there. It says earnings tomorrow afternoon after the bell. So I would absolutely agree with that whole thing. But he he's been so conservative and successfully conservative 
in trading for the last year or so, I'm just saying, why would you want to be correct overnight, but not be able to get out of your position overnight in the morning, you are way against the trend? Why risk that? Why risk 7 to even 14 or 15 percent when if NVIDIA comes out with lousy earnings or at least great earnings but a lousy expectation or great uh, great expectation, great earnings, or no, lousy earnings and great expect whatever it is, if the, re the result on Thursday going into Friday's close is that NVIDIA is down below 450, You've got plenty of time to short. You've missed, yes, the very best, but you, you, you've you also taken away that huge risk that you have. That's, uh, that's the only reason. Anybody else, I would have said, you know what? Uh, right here at a new recovery high. It's actually an all-time high. Start a position, and most of the people that asked me would have been in options, but I didn't get that message because I said we're holding off uh, for the day. All right. So with that said, Dow's down 122. S&P's only down $1.71. Dow's way weaker. This is the reason why we wanted to stay in our core short position. Now, here's the big thing. Um, in the whole, uh, for instance, we have a position that we had really successful uh, gains, a very small position with very successful, and then one smallish loss. And we went in yesterday, well, I think it was yesterday or the day before, and it it held well, it held the stop, and then got Intraday got almost to the point where we got in, then closed a little bit under it. Today it went above where we got in, and now it's down. And I'm saying to myself, that confirms for me that this whole area of the battery operation, let's just see STEM. We don't have that anymore. We had great gains in that a long time. Look at this. STEM, energy solutions, storage, EV, solar. I mean, tell me what doesn't sound fantastic here, except it was once at 51.29, now it's at $5.08. It did a double top at the 200 period exponential moving average, STEM Inc. And here it is down at 503. Let's look at Tesla, because this would be the, the, the benchmark for us. Tesla's had a rally. It's pulling back from the high. It's at 234. Uh, hit the 200-period moving average, bouncing off that. I just keep an eye on Tesla. It doesn't make another H pattern. Does it fail and start to break the 210 level support? I think there's a possibility for that. So that whole area, the batteries, EVs, anything like that, I think it's kind of fraught with some tension. FXI was a question. Could I do that? Yep, FXI made a peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology. Remember, D is where you got to be careful. Look at that turn around, the pyramid formation, whoop, up, whoop, down, making a lower low uh, to the 25s. Now it's a 26.10. Um, no, I think this whole China thing, I've been saying that for a while. I think that's a, a, a problem. XPEV, I think, was the next question. XPEV had a, a rally early this morning. Here it is, designs, uh, develops, manufactures smart EVs. Xpeng, I, I can't remember, do you say the X? Xpeng, Inc., I don't know how to pronounce it, someone will tell me one day. And look at this, um, 2369, now it's trading at 1568. I, I mean, you've got to just be real careful in this market right now. Uh, one other thing that I want, oh, natural gas. Natural gas. Um, so that rally that we had, remember I said this is the pattern that has the potential looking out. On a short term, I said I didn't want to say anything on the short term, but looking out, I said, yes, you could start looking at this, maybe a small position, maybe even an option, a call option looking out. Let's go to UNG. It's a little bit better, UNG. So this pattern with this inverted V, it's like a, like a V dreaded H pattern, says that if at any point in the next two weeks, if we don't take out 660, the low, 658, isn't it? Uh, 6, 660. 660 was the low on the 3rd of, of uh, August. If we don't take that out, but in fact can start to meander to the side, testing 720 just once in the next six trading sessions, then I think the weekly chart making higher highs and higher lows for the very first time in a concerted way with the MACD strong and stochastic, okay, on balance, we're not good. Says to me, looking out into sub late September, early October, I think we can see the 850 area to 910. And that kind of was the lookout period that I was, I was talking about. 
But make it, that 6-6 six, six is, is going to be really important. Take that out, and I'm saying, whoa. What am I saying? Whoa. Um, the next thing we're looking at here is questions came in. Um, yes, uh, PANW, P A N W, Palo Alto Networks, um, had a huge, had good earnings, etc. Had a big spike yesterday, giving back some of it. It's down seven to two thirty three. But on the two hundred period moving average at two sixty two, uh, two o two, and then what is new? Spiles, I mean two o two. What was the low? The low was. 117 and in one day it goes to 242.09 that's a massive move but look at that island reversal so i'm watching this closely i'll be back dollars down 112 s is down dollar 51 now you a bifurcated market Attention traders and investors, are you ready to elevate your game in the stock market? On August 23rd, join Basil Chapman, the mastermind behind the renowned Chapman Wave methodology in a subscriber-exclusive 90-minute webinar. From 4 to 5.30 p.m. Eastern, dive deep into the secrets of the 914 moving average, decode market turns, and get a head start on the stock outlook for September and October. The Golden Opportunity is free for all opening call subscribers. And if you're not on board yet as a subscriber, here's the deal. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Zero risks, all rewards. So what are you waiting for? Visit the front page of TFNN.com now and secure your spot. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So look, one minute chart has gone to a leg T, a uh, strong leg A in the five minute chart, trying to get back to the 200 period moving average of 4418. Um, and you got that test of the 200 period moving average in the E mini uh, that, at, two, uh, the two, at 440. 4410. So just real quickly, as we're about to wrap up, don't forget my webinar coming up on uh, Wednesday tomorrow for subscribers, 4 o'clock to uh, 5.30, and we'll be covering a chunk of stuff in great detail, even this little pattern that we're looking at in the E-mini live. So gold is just not going anywhere. Crude oil is holding quite well, actually. 
but I think it's it's getting into a very strong resistance area. The TBT, which is the inverse of the um, the T TLT, is trading at 36, 19, 35, yeah, just on 36. And it's made a doji candle high here at a, at a leg F, maybe a peak F. Uh, there could be an alternate count, but I think that the TLT is getting right to the point where there should be some kind of a bounce. I'm just calling it a bounce, and it's got the left side, right side price time match here in the weekly chart. 91.84.5 was the low. I think this is exactly the area where there should be at least some kind of a, 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 a yield pullback. We'll see about that. So in the meantime, back at the ranch, um, let's follow what we've got here. And we're going to be watching that uh, NVIDIA action very, very much because uh, will the SMHs get back to the 161.17 all-time high? I think there's going to be a digestive phase coming up, and I do expect that something's going to happen uh, going into the Friday close that says, hey, that was a great bounce, but now we're doing a digestive phase in the SMHs, another digestive phase. <laughs> we'll see about that. In the meantime, stay tuned. Great programming coming up because, oh, I'll be back at 1 o'clock for Larry Shum. Larry lost his voice yesterday, and I'm helping out today, you know, that uh, uh, we try to do our best here just to keep things going at TFNF. See you in a little while. Have a great day.